Looking splendid, sir. Very mayoral. You know it has a mustache a key, huh? Spice trust and all that. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Obelisk of power. Let's go, Tristana! So I'm sure they have some tricks up their sleeves to make this attack not so good for me, but I'm still happy with everything that happened. That's a good star for us. Our deck's looking pretty good. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Tristana, Poppy, Poros. That's right, got a lot going on here. We're putting Tristana and Poppy together in a Poro deck and seeing how they work. This has uh, got a lot going on. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how well this will do, but, you know, we'll see. We have a Tristana deck, so we need multi-region allies for Tristana, but then we're also playing Poros, and so we're going to want... Um, you know, a good amount of Poros. Now, a lot of the Poros are not multi-region, but there's a couple that are. Poro Sled is going to help um, hold this deck together because it's multi-region for Tristana. It's a Poro, and it also attacks summoning another Poro. So that's going to be really nice, especially when you have, like, Poro Snacks. Poro Sled starts looking really good. Each one cost Poro that's random that you put in is instead of just being, like, a 1-1, one -one, you know, turns into a 2-2, two -two, and so on. Those Poro Snacks are very important. Um, besides that, we're also going to have Poppy. Poppy's another way that is a um, multi-region ally that is going to be growing all of our Poros and other multi-region allies as well. Protoporo is a little bit of both. We got a Poro, we got a multi-region ally. That's going to help. And then we have like some card advantage stuff in the in the early game. Like Loping Telescope going to be able to get us another card. Play, manifest another card. Poro Herder, draw another card. Draw a Poro. Bandle City Mayor. You know, make our multi-region followers cost one less and be able to manifest an additional one. So we have uh, card advantage in the early game. We have card advantage in the late game with like the uh, Poro Sled, with Hidden Pathways, with Aurora Porealis. So we got a decent amount of card advantage, good attackers, hopefully some good size with the Poro Snacks, hopefully a good amount of keywords with Fabled Poro. And that's what it's all about. Por Pokey Stick, interaction, card draw, we'll take it. All right, so let's give it a try. Tristana and Poppy and Poros all together in one deck. Here we go. We're going to go play five games in ranked. And we're playing against the traditional Lulu Poppy. By traditional, I mean the version that everybody's playing right now. I want to keep this hand. We got a lonely Poro that creates another Poro. We got Poro Herder that draws a Poro. We got Poro Snacks. Grow those Poros. And then we got Poro Sled that can attack and make more Poros. And we'll have the, the attack token round five. Yeah, Poppy's pretty good. Yeah, any deck that, that wants to go wide and be aggressive going wide, Poppy is very good, giving plus one, plus ones to everything when it, whenever it attacks. Good card. Mama's home. This Lulu Poppy deck, very popular. Poppy, Lulu, Euler. Let's cook em. Maybe another Poro Sled? Just keep making Poro Sleds? Another round with four mana Poro Sled. That's, that's another good thing about the Bandle City Mayor in here, making that Poro Sled cost four. Let's see what we got. Hey, all right. Tristana. Two out of four for Tristana. 
quest will be over quicker than you can fry a ferret. Five five's pretty big. Like, Sharpsight's not going to save this thing from Poros lead blocking. They usually just play Sharpsight, Ranger's Resolve, Pokey Stick. I'm just going to open attack here with the Poro Snacks. We got a pretty decent attack with the Poro Snacks. This is Mama's house. All right, that dude, good old 10 damage. Two, four, six, eight, and double impact. We still may not win this game. Like, if they have Lulu and Poppy and rallies and stuff like that, like, we may not win this game. But I've liked how our deck has looked so far. It's looked pretty synergistic, and things have worked out very well. Oh, how about that? It's looked pretty good. Good win. GG's. Oh, no. All right, it's probably not going to go quite as well as last time, because it went really, really well last time. Yep, as you can see, probably not quite as well. We'll mulligan the two Poro parts. We're going to keep these multi-region parts of the deck. Loping at Telescope does a decent amount of time, you know, with the multi-region follower. Can get the Proto-Poro. So can get a Poro. The Poro that's in our deck that's also, that's also multi-region. Taking the pass. This requires my largest official hat. They probably have the two mana two two quick attack thing. That guy, Yordle Smith. I should maybe be playing the poppy right now before this Bandle City Mayor dies, but I don't expect it's dying. Obelisk of power. Let's go, Tristana! So I'm sure they have some tricks up their sleeves to make this attack not so good for me, but I'm still happy with everything that happened. That's a good star for us. Our deck's looking pretty good. Again, we may not win the game, but deck's looking good. That's still 20 damage. Alright, we'll take it. So that puts him down to two? <laughs> Dang, down to two already? I'll save the spell mana. I could play that and give the strongest ally plus two plus zero, but we'll save the spell mana. Oh, please tell me this can do two to the Nexus. No, only three to a unit. Um, only one Poro in play right now for the Fabled Poro. So Poppy gets plus one, plus zero, and impact. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, maybe I should have played this this thing instead. I don't really need the Bandle City Mirror around anymore. I'd rather have the impact. So kind of assuming that they have a sharp sight, and so they can kind of, you know, they can use it on like one of these things, but I have three units that are still surviving this attack. So I wasn't really expecting this attack. That's why I played the Obelisk of Power instead of old Buster Shot. Is that it? Are they done? I think they could be done. This looks like a pretty healthy attack again. We can just open attack with this. They lost to Poros and quit. That's going to be a 2 and 0 oh for Tristana, Poppy, Poros. Wow. For the All right. <laughs> looks like looks like we're only going to get paired against Lulu, Poppy. It's it's definitely the most popular deck, but they love to pair you against like similar regions. And we are playing uh, Poppy ourselves. This card's gone. Um... I have to mulligan these? I mean, I love the Poro Sled. Maybe I need to mulligan them and try to make sure that we can get an earlier start. No, attack token, but I want the attack token. I'm glad not a Pokey Stick right there. Poro sled, we find, we found you. You came back to us. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Hope this works. Hope no Rangers resolve. Cool. Fortunately, I don't have the mana for Troll Chant as well as Poppy. This is a good champion spell, too. Like, it's it's a little expensive for, like, a regular spell, everything like that, but it's a very good champion spell. Man, Loping Telescope is busted. Get one mana kill on my Poppy. That's awesome, but I'm still gonna... I mean, I'm still gonna attack, I guess. <laughs> you know, because I get the plus one, plus ones on these two. Actually, I have one additional card in hand than they do. Something's gonna be a five-four. So playing this, so I can play Troll Chant as well. Hmm. Guess they do get to do that. Ugh. This opponent had both of their champions. The other opponents had not had their champions. That's where that deck can get really good is whenever, you know, if you have, when you have Lulu and Poppy and other stuff, like, that was just awesome. Loping Telescope was absolutely perfect. The two things that it hit with the Manifest were absolutely perfect. And then both champions in a rally. What? Caitlyn Swain. That is not Lulu Poppy. I thought you had to play Lulu Poppy if you want to play this game. 
I didn't know there was another option. I actually should maybe keep that card? I don't know. I feel like I should maybe be mulliganing the Pokey... Like, I should probably be mulliganing this Pokey Stick. Like, I kind of kept it because Pokey Stick's awesome. But then, thinking about it more, I guess this is not a good Pokey Stick matchup. Bet my doggo Harvey over here. Why are all of our opponents so slow? Like, there's nothing to do. It takes us like 10 minutes to play four turns and then the game's over. All right, two spell mana for Pokey Stick or this troll chant that we're about to draw. Magic Harry with the resub 17 awesome months. Thank you so much there, Magic Harry. I appreciate that continued support. You are amazing. I suppose I'll attack. No, play Tristana first. Yeah, yep. The Final Fantasy VII victory music it is the music for seven. All right, got punished for playing Tristana. Love it, the new kid. Getting that Final Fantasy VII hype. Thanks for that <laughs> resub, or that, for that sub. Sorry, brand new sub. You are also a rock star. Thank you. Let's go! K Dills! Getting the gifted sub. Thanks to Magic Harry again. Thank you, Magic Harry. Playing Fabled Poro, getting an additional keyword. Nah. Nah, Vandal City Mayor. Let's see. One, two, three, four subs today. And the new kid gifted out a sub to random sub hype. <laughs> That's a name right there. Love it. Getting, <laughs> getting the sub hype with that. Alright, this is scary. These flash bombs. No! I even just got the Poro Snacks. Alright, gonna go ahead and play that. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Wait. Thermo oh, I guess Thermogenic Beam counts for five, doesn't it? Weird. Alright, double house spider going wide. These flash bombs. Isn't looking good for the home team right now. Not looking good. There we go. That's a card I've been wanting to see. Maybe we should have grabbed. I grabbed that because it could cost zero. But maybe I should have grabbed that four drum. So four, five, six, seven. Seriously? I just keep drawing Caitlyn over and over again. Okay, the first one was a regular Piltover Peacemaker. Only three cards in hand. Seven flash bombs. 
So many flash bombs. All right, good. Zero. And a poppy. What? We're at round eight already? For that thing already? We're gonna need some lifesteal. Random Poro keyword. Today's the day I find that hero. We're gonna need some lifesteal. Got some scouts. No, no. Stop. Whatever you're gonna do, stop. Just don't play anything. Oh, that's so bad. That that stuns the Poro sled, which I need to attack with the Poro sled. Ugh. in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. Know your place. Return fire! Sorry. <laughs> Wrong turn. All right, well, we're back to two and two. It was looking good for a little bit. We were two and oh, and everything was great. Sorry, hero. But... All right, we got um, Zoe Nami, a deck that I think is quite good. I'm a big fan of the Zoe Nami deck. All right, we got Poros and Poro Herders. Everything just really matched up well for my opponent last game. The the Piltover Peace Mug Makers were perfect. Uh, they did a great job with the Flash Bombs, the Round 3 Caitlyn. Um, yeah, every, everything went quite well for my opponent. Include, also, I guess it was Round 4 Caitlyn, because Round 3 they had the Stun Flock combo. Follow along, little ones. Just doing that immediately in case of Make It Rain. I want to like attack, they make it rain, then I don't get to Poro Herder. Oh yeah, you're, you're all glad you like the fanfare. Yeah, it's the best fanfare music ever. Just all the Final Fantasy games are so good. They're going slow out of the gates, not doing anything on round one or round two. So they're loading up on spell mana, so they're already at four spell mana. Well, we're just trying to curve out. Be a quest without some danger. We're curving Tristana into Poppy. I'm still good to Ooh, that's a good sign. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking they were going to have to have Pale Cascade right. I forgot about the Nami plus one plus zero. Alright, still, they're down to eight. On round four, we've gotten a good aggressive start in. This Nami's almost leveled up. They only need just one more spell mana, so any attune unit. Alright, so I was planning on playing the Poro Sled. But now I'm planning on playing the Pokey Stick. So I'll get a Box Puss.
Nice! You just beat Poppy with Ziggs Talia. Good job. Very nice. I will find the Moonstone. I will save my people. Yeah, we get it. You will do this, you will do that. Yada yada yada. Okay, and so now this protoporo will have double impact, or I guess, uh, maybe I just need to play Poro Snacks. Two, one, double impact. Probably better than a Poro Snacks, but I don't know. Poro Snacks pretty good. All right, good. All right, fearsome, not a very useful keyword right now. So we have four damage just from impacts. That's lethal. That's lethal. It's 11. That's still lethal. Just these two poros by themselves are lethal, right? Oh, no, 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 they deal seven total. So that one does the eight. And then, oh, this one by itself does the ninth, okay. So that's still lethal. Can we get a win? Oh no, they dealt two randomly to like the very best thing to do too. Two. Oh wow, that was the very best hit. Cause that thing, this thing is attacking for four. All right, well. Still, we're looking good. We have more cards in hand than they do. And they're down to three. And I got Aurora Porealis. And another Poro Snacks. Let's kill this before they can grow it. I was planning on like that card maybe being able to finish off their Nexus, but. Okay, yeah, you took out from the uh, Talia Ziggs we just played, you took out the Quicksands and put in Ride of the Arcane. That's a good switch, yeah, and then that, that helped you win. Very nice. Yeah, Ride of the Arcane does a good job killing both Lulu and Poppy. Huh. They didn't give Tristana? Could be killing Tristana and just didn't care about that. So we don't know what card they put back with the pick a card, but it was something that was worse than Shakedown. They would rather just play the Shakedown. They go, I'm going to just keep playing cards that are lethal attackers. No, 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 I was going to play this. Yeah, because that card, you know, the mayor was a lethal attacker because it was about to get the impact. Or no, maybe it doesn't get the impact from Tristana. I, I guess I don't know. I guess maybe it did. Actually, it probably did. All right, there we go. That was Tristana, Poppy, Poros. We got a three and two record with Tristana. Uh, you know, had some good synergies there with all the Poros and some of the multi-region allies. The impact from the multi-region allies was really nice. It wasn't too difficult to level up Tristana. It really wasn't. Uh, we we were a very good proto Poro deck, um, and uh, the Bandle City Mayor and the Loping Telescope could also make more proto. Poros, or either one could also manifest Poro Sled, right? So both of them had a good chance of, of manifesting one of the, the two Poros, either the Poro or the Sled. And we were definitely a really good Poro Sled deck as well. Again, that impact keyword did a good amount of damage for us as well. So pretty cool deck here. Tristana, Poppy, getting some work done. Awesome. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Tristana, Poppy. You know, it's a different, you know, it's not Lulu Poppy. I know that's the popular deck right now. Um, you know, is, is it as good as Lulu Poppy? Maybe not, but we were two and one against Lulu Poppy. So that's pretty good. 
in in the video um but yeah leave those comments let me know what you think of this different version of poppy poros with tristana all right but that's gonna be it here for this deck so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video